All right, so I've started the trip. It's official. Um, this is the first rest stop. I'm not that far from home, like 30 minutes at the moment. Um, had to arrange a few things and uh, do some really quick sudden building before I left. Um, I was going to leave at 8 and I ended up leaving about 9.30, 9.40, somewhere in there. So we're a little bit behind. Might not make it as far as I'd like to today, but yeah, it'll be what it's going to be. Got everything packed in here for the most part. Um, it definitely needs to be moved around and organized some, but, you know, it all fit. I guess that's the important thing. I don't even know where I'm sleeping tonight. <laughs> There's like no plan right now except go west. Yep, we're, uh, we're in Atlanta for sure. I hate driving through here. It, it's awful. And just getting out of the house a little bit later, like, I, I probably would have skipped some of this, whatever this traffic is for, I don't know, lunchtime traffic. I can't express how much I hate driving through Atlanta. It's like my least favorite thing. Well, I stopped over at a Stamford or Samford or I don't know. It's a really pretty campus. The van's been doing well. Um, hasn't broken down just yet. Originally, I was going to um, try and make it out to. Where was I trying to go? Jackson. Jackson. I was going to try to get to Jackson, Mississippi, but I don't know if I'm going to make it quite that far. I may just stop in Tuscaloosa, which is only an hour away from where I am now. I'm a little tired. It's been, it's been quite an eventful morning getting out the door and all that. I think it would be kind of funny if I ended up staying in Tuscaloosa because last time I, um, when I went out west for the first time in 2019 with a friend from school, um, we stayed in Tuscaloosa our first night trying to get out, get out west. So I don't know, I think that'd be kind of funny. It can just be like a thing I do every time I go out west. I think this is gonna be um, home sweet home for tonight. Just some random Walmart in Tuscaloosa. It didn't have great reviews on RV Parky, and it's mostly because there is not one daggum place in this park lot that's not off kilter. There's nothing that's a nice flat surface to park. Well, we made it. <laughs> another uh, another night in a Walmart parking lot. This was nicer. I didn't have to like spit <laughs> out the door this time because I have a sink and all. That's what it looks like. There's some dude. So it was actually kind of noisy last night because they were out, like there was one dude with a leaf blower just walking around all night. I don't know what the heck he was doing, but I, I don't mind it. It makes me feel better knowing that there's employees walking around doing stuff outside. Fun little trick, you don't need a spoon for applesauce. You just take the top and you kind of fold it up like that. And now, now it's a spoon. Now that's not really necessary because I have like utensils in here, but this is a camping trick. So, you know, if you don't have spoons or you don't want to bother getting a spoon dirty or something, this is a good way to eat your applesauce. Okay, so I picked up this um, little pressure tire gauge pin thing just in the Walmart yesterday. Went ahead and got one. It was like a dollar. 35. Door said 36, so I'm gonna check all the other tires, but it looks like we're good.
the Mississippi River. And now we're in Louisiana, just like that. Okay, so we made it um, across the bridge into Louisiana here. Um, before I left, I had this great idea to not like, like I was gonna pack up, but not like in a super sensible way. I was just gonna kind of put stuff in the car. Um, and then I would kind of figure out where it needed to be as I went, which I still think was an okay idea. It's just maybe I shouldn't have put like the stuff I'm gonna use every single day all the way in the back where it's impossible to get to it. So I'm having to move some things around. Plus I need a break anyways. And I don't know if I'm going through like coffee withdrawal because I used to drink like four cups a day and now I'm drinking nothing. Maybe that's what it is, but like I'm super tired. <laughs> I guess driving is just harder. You're doing good truckers. You're doing good buddy. Okay, so we've reached the next um, next stop here. We're at a Walmart in the middle of Shreveport, Louisiana. So we're pretty close to the border, getting ready to head into Texas. Um, I'm actually a little nervous about driving across Texas, to be honest. It's kind of a, I don't know, I'm just not accustomed to deserts and how to not die in them and such. It'll be fine, I'm gonna stay on, you know, major interstates and such going across that should help with the danger aspect all right all right brownie points for texas their gas here it's only two dollars and 39 cent a gallon it's been like the best across the country so far i'm pretty stoked i'm gonna buy it now before it goes up it's so sad to be getting like super excited about those gas prices when gas has been like a buck 70 for the past two three years or so but whatever. The reason I was, I guess was so pumped up about the price of that one is when I was driving like just a little ways back, I saw one and on its big sign, you know, it said it was, it was 240 or whatever. And then as I was pulling off the off ramp, it swapped over to 269. Like it, like the screen went black and it blinked back up and it was a higher price. So I was kind of all bummed out. I was like, oh man, I'm gonna get a pretty good deal. But then I found an even better deal. So it all worked out. <laughs> All right, so we're somewhere in Texas, past Dallas. The traffic there was like crazy. I don't know what was going on, um, but it wasn't a good time. So we're a little bit past lunch at this point, trying to catch up here. So we're gonna use this premium white chicken, lemon pepper flavor from Walmart for our sandwich today. All right. This is a brand new knife that my dad gave me before I headed out. He's actually a, uh, a scissor sharpener. Holy crap. This thing cuts incredibly well. <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself with this thing. Well, anyways, that is a bad tomato, but a really good knife. All right, here's the chicken. Smells good, but I'm gonna be honest, this, this doesn't look that good. Oh no. Yeah, that looks pretty gross, doesn't it? All right. Well, we have a sandwich. It's pretty good, actually. So I'm still about three and a half hours away from where I'm trying to spend the night. Um, I obviously have not posted a video. I might just sit here in this little academy parking lot and edit like as quickly as I can and then go find a place I can upload at. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so I got a plan, I got a plan. I am going to edit the video right here, right now, and then go find a place to upload it and then hop back on the road. And I guess I'll be getting to my destination at like 10, maybe 10.30. It's just a Walmart. It's not like they care or want you to check in or anything, so it's all good. All right, cool. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this driving video, going through a couple different states and stuff. 
all the exciting parks are coming up soon. So next video we should be like climbing mountains and getting all these crazy pictures and stuff. Or such is the plan. We'll see. Anyways, till next time.